first alert weather with Cassie Campbell is sponsored by St. Francis Healthcare System. Well, we've had a couple of nice few days across the Heartland, but things are about to change as we head into tomorrow. Right now, though, clear across the Heartland. We are dry and mild. It's pretty nice out there for your late Thursday afternoon. As we head into this evening, most of us are still going to stay under some partly cloudy skies. The clouds slowly filter in as we head into Friday. Friday morning heading out the door. We are tracking the chance for a few spot showers early in the morning. Then we'll see those rain chances just steadily increase throughout the late late morning, early afternoon. By the time we get into Friday afternoon, this is around three o'clock. We are going to see that transition from the rain to more of the sleet snow as those temperatures continue to drop throughout the day. Winds are also going to be pretty breezy out of the north, bringing in those cold temperatures as well as this cold front pushes through. That's bringing the chance for a little bit of this snow across the heartland into Friday evening. Still seeing a little bit of that lingering snow across the heartland. Overall, not expecting a whole lot of snow accumulation, but there is a chance to wake up to, uh, to wake up. There is a chance later in the afternoon, early evening to see a little bit of accumulation, mainly on grass, grassy or elevated surfaces. Travel impacts are possible late Friday evening as this continues to work out of the heartland. Temperatures dropping below freezing Friday night into Saturday morning, and they're going to stay just at that freezing mark until we get into the afternoon. Sunny skies for Saturday. We will dry out late Friday night into Saturday, but those very cold temperatures come back in for Saturday evening. Evening. Looking at our winter weather impacts for tomorrow. That's not that slight category again. Some of us could see up to about an inch or so, mainly to our most northern counties. Most of us are just going to get a dusting. Some of us not get any snow accumulation at all. We'll have to track that. Really depends on when those temperatures start to change over. We do have that chance for a little bit of sleep, but also our wind chills. Very strong, very cold wind chills as we head into Friday evening and Saturday evening. Temperatures in the 20s. That means wind chills in the teens for us Friday night kicking off. Your weekend downtown Cape looking beautiful right now. Sunny skies, temperatures pretty mild. Waking up tomorrow morning will be in the upper 20s to lower 30s across most of the heartland. By the time we get to the afternoon, not going to heat up a whole lot. Upper 30s to 40s might hit 50 down towards Tennessee, towards our most southern counties, 52 in Union City, but 41 in Cape, 38 in Marion. And as that cold air starts to push in, it is going to feel quite cold for your Friday evening. Look at that 23 Friday night wind chills in the teens, 39 on Saturday. At least that sunshine is going to be out and about for your weekend. We'll gradually see those 50s return by Sunday. So just about two days of this very cold weather before we start to see a warm up back in store for us heading into next week. 57 by Monday, partly cloudy skies and that sunshine back out on Tuesday. And look at this. Those 60s are coming right back for the middle of next week.